Hey, Laurel, Daniel Brophy's son, Nathaniel Stillwater, spoke today about who his father was, and he testified about working for Nancy Crampton Brophy at her catering company for six years. He said he had a good relationship with Nancy, and she was a good grandmother to his daughter. Stillwater said after his father was killed, he was worried about Nancy's financial situation, so he offered her money, but she declined. He also said he was not aware that Nancy or her father had a gun and until after his father's death. Stillwater said his dad never expressed interest in owning a gun. He said he did have a conversation with Nancy around 2016 about guns, but it was research for a book. Stillwater said he learned about his father's death after his grandmother called him. My grandmother called me again to say that my father had been shot. Uh, her words were, your sweet daddy, it was your sweet daddy, which stands out in my mind because I'd never heard him referred to in that way before. He'd always been my father. The state paints a picture of Nancy Crampton Brophy as a woman who lied to police about her whereabouts the day her husband died and stood to gain a significant amount of insurance money from Daniel Brophy's death. The defense says Nancy and Daniel were in love and had a great relationship, so she wouldn't have killed him. There was surveillance video that caught Nancy Crampton Brophy's van in the, area, in the area of the Oregon Culinary Institute around the time of the murder. And I'll be staying on this trial and it's expected to last for the next couple of weeks.